My name is Michael Carter, a.k.a. S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Red Right 88. Last year, S.H.I.E.L.D. Director Phil Coulson assigned me to disseminate recently discovered files detailing the early exploits of my great-aunt, S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Peggy Carter. I thought my mission was over. However, a new series of documents covering Agent Carter's exploits in California was recently discovered. This is Season 2 of The Whimsical Adventures of Great and Peggy. This week's report is going to be later than usual this week on two counts. One, I idiotically forgot to mention that Whitney Frost's real name was Agnes Cully, and there seems to be a furor over some YouTube channel trying to trademark the phrase Secret Agent Stimulus Response. Jarvis and Agent Carter tried staking out Calvin Chadwick's campaign headquarters in an attempt to contact Agnes Cully. It was there they noticed a man sporting a similar wound to Peggy's attacker from a few nights earlier. The two tracked down the location of the man named Rufus Hunt, and this led into another fight with Agent Carter, who managed to stick Hunt with two tranquilizer darts. It incapacitated the thug enough for Carter and Jarvis to load him into the trunk of their car. Then Jarvis got stuck with a tranquilizer dart. When Carter and Jarvis returned to the Stark mansion, Suzu was waiting there with documents on Agnes Cully. He wasn't pleased with the fact that Peggy brought in Hunt. Hunt proved impossible to be interrogated, so Peggy brought out the truth serum in the form of a genetically augmented cold virus. Eventually, Hunt began giving names. Thomas Gloucester, a Wall Street tycoon. Hugh Jones, head of Rocks and Oil. They were both members of a group called the Council of Nine. Meanwhile, Jarvis worked with Dr. Wilkes on some research when Dr. Wilkes noticed a strange occurrence beginning to happen. Back with Agents Carter and Sousa, they began to investigate the Arena Club, only for it to be interrupted by members of the FBI, led by an agent named Masters, who are now in charge of the SSR's West Coast branch. Agent Carter began pleading with Agent Masters of the FBI, and he basically threatened not only Agent Carter, but Sousa, Jarvis, and Stark as well. Before Agent Carter could leave, Sousa managed to give her a tissue sample from the body of Jane Scott. Carter and Sousa went back to the Stark mansion and freed Hunt. He went back to the Chadwick home. Unbeknownst to him, he was bugged. Meanwhile, Dr. Wilkes began struggling, feeling something calling to him, telling him to let go. Chadwick soon arrived at his home to find Hunt waiting for him. Hunt turned in Peggy. Agnes Cully wanted to know what it was he told Agent Carter, and Hunt eventually confessed his confession. He then tried to blackmail the Chadwicks. Then, somehow, Agnes Cully grabbed Rufus Hunt, and despite Calvin Chadwick's pleas to stop, Hunt's signal eventually just vanished. Okay, this episode was definitely a step up from last week. Namely because the sexism that I was complaining about has mainly dissipated. There was a little bit with both Rufus Hunt and Masters, although Masters was a little bit more of a blackmailing communist thing than it was actual sexism. But I don't mind when antagonists are doing it to Agent Carter. It's when Agent Carter's co-workers are doing it to Agent Carter. That's where I have the problem. Also, I, in another benefit to this, I really did enjoy the flashbacks to both Agnes Cully and Agent Carter's past. Hmm. Agnes Cully was from Broxton, Oklahoma? Where have I heard that before? Also, I will say this, uh, another benefit is that Agent Masters is kind of shaping up to be a very credible threat. Um, my one real complaint with this episode, uh, both Wilkes and Jarvis were woefully underutilized. A, it's going to happen, even in the tightestly written show, is sometimes you're just going to have characters get the short end of the stick. So it's not a huge nitpick, but it is a minor nitpick. But that being said, this episode was more than enough enjoyable. I'm going to give this an A. And... 
I'll see you next time on the Whimsical Adventures of Great Aunt Peggy.